What's going on button pushers? Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be modding some Canon FD lenses. We're using Simod parts and this is my first time. I'm doing it by hand so I want to document it, kind of walk you guys through the steps and see how it turns out. So we've got a pile of all of the Simod stuff here. You know, it's labeled for some and others, uh, you know, it's labeled on the back. I'm just gonna have to find out for a lot of other things. And yeah, this should be pretty interesting. If you guys aren't too familiar with what, you know, cinema, cinemodding and what Simod itself is, it's pretty much turning a lens that isn't a cinema lens into a cinema lens. like modding it for cinema, for film, for video production, pretty much. So we're going to be taking some old Canon FDs and cinemodding them to be used for video. Now, unfortunately, my set only consists of four lenses for now. I do have three lenses in mind that I do want to purchase later, but, you know, we're just going to do what we can for now because I couldn't afford everything. <laughs> so we have our four lenses right here. We've got the 20 millimeter. We've got the 35 millimeter, we've got the 50 millimeter, and the 85 millimeter. So these are going to be the four that we're going to be modding. And honestly, I'm going to be starting with the cheapest one, the 50 millimeter, in case I do end up messing up or anything. This is probably going to be the easiest one to replace. It's only like 100 bucks, a lot better than 300, 400, 500 bucks. So let's start off with a 50 and see where we go from there. All right, so the first few things that we're gonna be doing for cinemodding this lens is we're gonna be adding a filter adapter ring, you know, a front, um, what do you call it, front ring. <laughs> we're gonna be adding a focus gear to the uh, focus wheel. We're gonna be replacing the lens mount from FD to Canon EF. And then we're also going to be adding and de-clicking the aperture ring. So it's a smooth transition instead of a... Yeah, instead of that, you know, like where it's hard stop, we're going to be adding... Make, we're going to be de-clicking de it so it's a lot smoother and you can transition through that. So for the 50mm, and I wrote this down, we have a 65mm ring as well as a 55mm filter ring. So let's find that here. What is this? Oh, there's a ring. 55 to 77 millimeter, oh, 80 outer diameter. So this is a ring, pretty much you mount it on the front of the lens, you can just screw it in, and that means you can adapt, you know, whatever filters, whatever 77 millimeter filters you want, or you can use a matte box. It just makes it a lot easier to adapt filters on. So we're gonna do this after I put on the focus gear, because we have to squeeze the focus gear on using tension. All right, so we have our focus gear here. It's super sturdy. It's metal and it looks really, really nice. If you guys want to take a look right here, looks really freaking amazing. Feels amazing. And to be able to get this on, we're going to need to throw on these here. So this is pretty much an insert that's going to help adapt the focus gear to it. So they get, they sent me a bunch and I'm pretty much just going to have to be able to find the one that fits and squeezes on pretty easily. And since this is a 65, millimeter lens in as far as you know diameter goes we're going to use the 65 millimeter insert we're going to throw this onto the gear right here hopefully that's sturdy enough let's see maybe even go stop down to his let's see if a 64 works a little bit tighter because the 65 seems a little bit loose so i'm going to switch to a 64 and see if that does any better than the 65. And maybe if this is a little too loose, we can even stop down to a 63. Yeah, 63 is starting to feel nice. It's a lot tighter. So we're going to slide this uh, thing in here. Just like that. Just like that, yeah. And then we're going to take it and pull it through the lens. I lied to you. I'm going back to the 65, because now I understand why. Because you have to get past this first part. And it gets pretty, a little difficult. So we're gonna go past this screw here. There's a screw here that's kind of blocking the way. So we're gonna get past that and we're just gonna squeeze it all the way down. We're gonna just use our force and push that gear down. And once you use this force, you know, like it's really tight and you know, once it's on there, it probably won't be moving, you know? So we've got the focus gear on pretty nice, pretty tight. 
And we're just, I'm just going to go back and make sure that everything's straight, lined up, and looks good. So that's it. We have our focus gear on already. Super simple, very easy. And then we're just going to slap on this uh, front ring right here. Super simple, right? Now I can put on 77 millimeter adapters. I can put a map box on it, and it's super awesome. Now the thing about it is the last part, that EF to FD conversion kit is gonna be the hardest part of this. So I'm actually gonna maybe do this that last. Let's go through the rest of the lenses and get these uh, rings and front front adapter filter ring thing on first. And then let's go in and change the lens mounts on these. So I'm having a little bit of trouble with the 35 here. It's a little bit loose. So I'm going to add some tape. Now this special tape here is basically like a grip tape, so it's gonna help it stay in place and add some bulkiness, um, hopefully. Here's to hoping it fits. So the tape definitely helped. It's a lot tighter now, and it's probably because I ordered the wrong size, just by one millimeter off. And this really helped, so the tape was really useful. Anyways, let's get this uh, cap on here. Screw it in. So we've got our four lenses down right here. Uh, let me do some cleaning up real quick, just to get things out of the way and prep for the EF mount conversion. I also want to mention that I got these really sick caps. Look. This one looks really good, like the colors. I decided to go with red because of the Canon L series kind of vibe, and it just looks really good. So this just slaps on right in front, and it's just a protective cover. It looks really cool, and can't wait to get my entire site just looking like this. Take a look at how beautiful this looks. Like it's shiny, it shines at the light, it just looks awesome. Like, dude, I'm in love. But now comes the hardest part. This is something that, you know, isn't recommended to do by yourself because if you mess up, you mess up the lens completely and, you know, it's really hard to recover. It can get expensive. And this is usually a service that you pay for. It costs probably an extra hundred bucks or so. Um, but we're going to do ourselves. So again, we're going to be starting with the 50 millimeter because the 50 millimeter is only hundred bucks. It's the cheapest one and it's easily replaceable compared to like all the other ones. So let's uh let's get started so i'm gonna take some time to walk you guys through this because i don't want you guys to have to watch the whole entire process because it took me a good like hour and a half to get all four done so there's two parts this is the actual lens mount and then we have the aperture ring that mounts behind that lens mount so that you have some smooth de-clicked aperture so these are the edmica uh, mount kits and um, first thing you're going to want to do is pop these screws off for the mount and I like to keep them in the lens cap just so I can stay organized and kind of know where everything is not lose anything and just make sure that I have everything I need when I'm putting it back together so the lens mount comes right off after you take these three screws off and then everything is exposed now we need to take off these two silver pieces and that's gonna pop the aperture ring right off so Let's get in there, get those screws off. And as you can see, you know, it's pretty simple. You really want to be careful. They provide you with a tool to make sure that you don't end up um, stripping the screw, which is pretty much when the size is incorrect so that you mess up the screw and you start sawing away at it. And then it starts like breaking apart and you end up not being able to do it. And I actually did face this issue while doing it because the 50 millimeter I had actually already had a strip screw in there. So I had to pry the lens mount off. Didn't catch it on camera, but it was pretty intense and it was very, very scary, but glad I don't have to buy a whole new mount. Anyways, these two prongs right here, you're gonna wanna fit the aperture ring right in between there. There's a little you know, protruding piece and it just goes in, mounts straight on top. You can see it's kind of loose, but once we get this lens mount on top, it's gonna fit real nice. See, you already see it's controlling the aperture. It's super, super smooth. Now we just need to put the lens mount right on top, screw it in, and we're gonna get a really, really, really nice little smooth de-clicked aperture. So I'm gonna take this piece right here, which is the FD to EF conversion, place it right on top. We're gonna line up the screws that are on the lens itself. You can see them when you're doing them, but you probably won't be able to see it in this footage here. But I'm gonna line those up, put it right on top, and I'm gonna start screwing it in. That way we get a really right nice de-clicked aperture ring, and you know, after screwing them in, everything is good. 
good to go. It's all set. The only thing that I need to do left is add my EF cap. But testing it out here, the aperture feels really nice. It is a little bit stiff in comparison, but it is declicked and it is able to be turned and controlled. So that is what is most important. So that's pretty much all for the modding, the rings, uh, the focus gear, the aperture ring, the actual mount itself for the lens, and then the outer diameter front ring. And that's really nice. And I you know, did this for all four lenses. Again, the 50 was really hard. I had to pry off the filter because there was a strip screw that kept it on and was super stuck. But after everything is done, it looks really nice. It feels amazing and I can't wait to start creating with these lenses. So it's currently a whole different day, but I wanted to make another clip just to kind of break down for you guys exactly what I went through step by step just because it wasn't as clear in the video because I was having a hard time capturing everything with the autofocus breathing in and out the whole time. But so pretty much what we did was one, we attached the focus gear here. This is a nice metal focus gear. We have insert in there so it makes it nice and tight. We have also a front diameter filter ring kind of thing. We have the aperture gear here, which is also an insert from the inside. We have the EF conversion from the FD, and then we have the EF lens cap on the back. So you also have to keep in mind that every lens is different. It comes with different pieces. The EF conversion part itself is very, very specific to the lens because they all have little different pieces and different things that go on within the lens that make them different from one another. So each lens had its own complications. You know, there were some lenses where it was kind of hard to do the aperture ring. You know, there's a shark fin trap which is pretty much where the aperture will flick itself back into place and that's something you have to unhook yourself. So there's a whole lot that goes in each lens and I definitely recommend looking up tutorial for each piece, but overall the conversion wasn't that hard, but you do have to be super careful because lenses are fragile and a lot of things can happen if you mess up. So. Anyways, that's all for today's video, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what are your favorite pair of lens. Like, I love Canon FDs. I would love a set of Leica R's, but what's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Have an amazing day. Keep pushing buttons, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.